Are you looking for emerging markets to park your investment funds? Why not consider investing in Cambodia real estate in 2023? Hey there, my fellow investors. This is Marvin Lee, official hailing from the sunny island of Singapore. Welcome to my latest video where we are going to be talking about why you should consider investing in Phnom Penh real estate in 2023. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Nom what? But trust me, it's a hidden gem in Southeast Asia that you won't want to miss out on. In fact, I just came back from Phnom Penh two weeks ago where I went there to study the real estate opportunities and eventually invested in my first Cambodian property. How is that for confidence? So, are you keen to find out why you should consider investing in Cambodia this year? If so, do click on the like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you will not be missing my upcoming videos on this topic. Let's explore together, yeah? So, first and foremost, Phnom Penh is the capital city of Cambodia and it's been experiencing some serious economic growth lately. According to the World Bank, Cambodia's economy is expected to grow 5.5% in 2023, driven by increased domestic demand, foreign investment and exports. With a young and growing population, expanding middle class and increasing foreign investment, the real estate market in Phnom Penh is just waiting to explode. For example, foreign direct investment in Cambodia reached a record high of 4.68 billion in 2022, up 7.5% from the previous year, despite only recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic. But the best part, compared to other cities in the region, the prices of Phnom Penh real estate are still pretty affordable. The average price of a condo in Phnom Penh is around 2,500 per square meter US dollars, which is significantly lower than in other cities such as Singapore or Hong Kong. So if you're looking to invest in some properties without breaking the bank, this is the place to do it. Okay. As a rough comparison, the starting price for a new condo in Singapore is upwards of USD 16,000 per square meter. How do you feel about the prices now? And get this, unlike some other countries in Southeast Asia, foreign investors are allowed to own property in Cambodia. Yes, you heard it right. You can own your very own piece of Phnom Penh. The country's land law permits foreigners to own properties provided the building is not located in the ground floor and they don't own more than 70% of the units in the building. Plus, the Cambodian government has been investing heavily in infrastructure development lately. For example, the government recently invested USD $1.5 billion in the expansion of Phnom Penh International Airport, which is expected to increase the airport's capacity to 15 million passengers per year by 2025. The government has also developed a $2 billion expressway project that connects Phnom Penh with Sihanoukville, the country's main seaport. This investment expected to drive the economic growth and increase the demand of real estate in Phnom Penh even further. Now, here's where it gets really exciting. Cambodia has become a popular tourist destination in recent years, with Phnom Penh serving as a gateway to the country's rich cultural heritage and stunning natural beauty. In 2019, the country welcomed more than 6.6 .6 million international tourists, a whopping 6.6% increase from the previous year. Cambodia's low cost of living compared to other Southeast Asian countries make it an attractive destination for expats, retirees and digital nomads. And as the tourism industry continues to grow, so will the demand for real estate in the area. But what about the politics, you ask? Well, Cambodia has a stable political environment 
which makes it a great place to do business. The country has made significant strides in the economic development over the past decade, which has improved the investment climate in the country. The Cambodian government is currently implementing the China ASEAN Free Trade Area Agreement, which is expected to increase the country's trade and investment opportunities with China and other ASEAN countries. And finally, rental demand in Phnom Penh is expected to remain strong in the coming years, meaning high rental yields for investors like you and me. According to a report by real estate firm CBRE Cambodia, the average rental yield for condominiums in Phnom Penh was 7.3% in 2020. With the city's expanding middle class and growing economy, rental demand is expected to remain strong in the coming years. Okay, So there you have it folks, 7 solid reasons why you should consider investing in Phnom Penh Real Estate in 2023. It's affordable, it's growing, and it's waiting for you to jump in and make your mark. So, are you considering to be my neighbour in Cambodia? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next episode. This is Marvin Lee Official, signing out.